after the game. Coach Chris Collins, congratulations on, on the victory, Coach. A 44-point win. But this is like the perfect game for you because you get, a, you get a relatively easy win, start off the year that way, and you still had an opportunity in the second half to light into your guys, as we showed on camera. <laughs> yeah. So the perfect game for a coach. <laughs> Uh, the life of a coach, right? Uh, just really proud of our guys tonight. Um, this was an important game in my household. Uh, the la my sister was a great women's player at Lehigh, and the only other time I competed against them, C.J. McCollum had about 40 on us in the NCAA tournament and sent us home. So she's been trash-talking me all week about how Lehigh has my number. So uh, hopefully now I got the win, And uh, but I'm really proud of our guys. I thought we approached the game the right way. Uh, first games aren't always easy, guys. Uh, you have six months of off season, and guys put a lot into this. And there's always some first game jitters, and that's why you got to play defense. And I think that's what set the tone for us early, holding them to 15 points in the first half. Then we got to see the ball go in. And uh, credit to our crowd, the students showed up tonight. And Welsh Ryan was great as always. Coach Nicole Auerbach here. Uh, congrats on the win. And you, you mentioned, you know, sometimes you got to shake out some rust. Nick Martinelli did not need to do that with the double double tonight. We saw him take a step last season. What are you expecting from him the rest of the way this year? This year? Well, we need Nick to be a, a big time player. I mean, we I've said that all along. If, if you want to be a serious threat in the Big Ten Conference, you have to have multiple guys that are worthy of being all league players. Uh, I learned that from Coach Rick Patino back in the day. <laughs> he said, unless you have multiple league guys, don't, don't complain about not winning. So, you know, we can get Brooks healthy and get him back. We know what he can do. If Nick can elevate his game and, and kind of become that second guy, and we're starting to see Ty, uh, the second half, who's good. You know, he's been off with a knee to shake some of that rust. Mac Nicholson, really like what we're getting from our two-headed monster at the five spot. You know, Matt Nicholson, Luke Hunger, they're kind of two different players, but we're getting a lot of production at that spot, which is great. Coach Collins, Josh Pastner here, outstanding win. Congrats on, first of all, on your father getting inducted to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, I know that's just an incredible opportunity for your dad to get there and what he's done. And obviously you uh, being his son, I know you were so proud of that and for that accomplishment. My question, Coach, for you to get back to the third straight NCAA tournament, which based on how you played tonight defensively, you guys were outstanding. What do you think you need to do in order, as in terms of statistically, what would you say is your biggest thing you've got to do for you guys to be back to a third straight trip to the NCAA tournament? Well, I think defense has to be the calling card. You know, I, I think if you look at us too, when, when we've been, when had our best teams, we've had a really positive assist to turnover ratio. We've been a low turnover team that takes care of the ball. Mm -hmm. We share the ball and get good shots. And then we got to play gritty, hard nose, kind of chip on your shoulder type <clears throat> defense. And probably the last thing is we need Brooks Barnheiser back. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we need a healthy Barnheiser back in the lineup. I think it'll be soon. He's, he's looking good. But to come out without him tonight and see a lot of positive contributions is a really good first step for our team. Coach, lastly, Jordan Cornett here. And, and we know each other well. And, you know, you, you played with an edge as a player. You were an assistant coach with an edge. You run your program with an edge. That blue chip, that, that chip on the shoulder approach with this program has propelled you guys to great heights. I've been very, I, I've used unsavory words here, if you will, in studio talking about the fact that this Northwestern team has picked 16th out of 18 teams preseason. Knowing you have that edge, I see that smile, Coach. What was your reaction, and how do you use that to motivate this group that's clearly there right now? What do you mean? I thought it was great. I yeah. thought it was great. Pick us last every year, man. Because those guys, Josh and Matt, they know in the studio as a coach, pick us last, and, uh, you know, we'll have our guys' attention. I told the guys, obviously, I guess Boo Booey and Ryan Langborg won all those games last year, and, and you guys had nothing to do with it. So um, our guys are a determined bunch. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of guys on our team that weren't recruited by Big Ten schools. You know, we saw something in them. We get them in here. We, we get guys better. We play hard. We, we develop from within, and, um, you know, that's our calling card. Coach, none of us voted in that poll, so we can say that. For the that's record. For the, for the record. We can Sounds like you that. would have wanted us yeah, to exactly, vote. Exactly, right? Maybe he's the disappointed. Only one, the, on, the only one I believe is Nicole in there because she's my girl. So that's it. That's very believe. smart of you. Very smart of you, Coach. Hey, congrats on the win. Thanks for the time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. I appreciate you guys.